Hello everyone. In today's video, we will take a look at materials. So let's start. You can bring up the material editor from here or uh, by pressing F5 or by going to the windows and uh, clicking on the material editor option. It will bring up the material. It has two tabs, the library and uh, the editor. The library is uh, for predefined materials and uh, editor is where you create or modify the material. So these are the options or types of material you can create. The first one is standard, second uniform, chroma, matte and uh, particle. So if you click on any of these icons, it will create the material. If I click on it, it will create the standard material and if I click on it, it will create uniform material. The uniform material has only one color value and opacity and the standard one has a few more options. It's ambient, diffuse, specular, opacity, power. We will discuss a few of these in this video. Let's uh, delete this material and start afresh. Now, let's create a cube and uh, keep it aside so, so that we can see the sides of it. Did you notice that as soon as I created the cube, it also created the material for itself. It is a standard one. You can also see it here. The standard one is applied to the cube. So come back. Now in standard one, these are three color values. You can change and uh, it will change the appearance of the object. Ambient is uh, constant from all the directions. Diffuse depends on the angle between the light and the surface. And uh, the last one is specular. Specular depends on the angle between the reflected incoming light and the eye. So normally ambient is uh, the darker shade of uh, any color you want it to be. If I want it to be red, I will choose the darker color of the red or uh, even black. Then diffuse is the actual color of the object. So I think I want it to be uh, red in 200. I press OK. And uh, even if I set it to black, it will show me red on the on the edges. And if I rotate it, you can see it will change the color. And here you can see the shininess or specular is affecting the object. So if I change the specular, it will be updated in the object. So if I make it yellow, now you can see when the light shines from it, it will be yellow or even if I, I can make it blue or green or some other color but since uh, we are making it red so I will choose a lighter color of red and uh, even darker color in diffuse and a little bit uh, red in the ambient now you can see it's, uh, changing the color and uh, perception if I chamfer the cube a bit 10 and increase the segment to 5. You will see that uh, the object uh, is uh, much shinier and uh, reflects a bit more accurately. We can increase even further. And, okay. So you can play around and uh, see for yourself what you can make out of it. This is the opacity. So if I want, I can make it transparent by changing the opacity value. It's uh, 10. You can hardly see it now 100 you can see a little bit and if i place an object behind this cube you can see the object now if i change the opacity to 50 the object behind is more visible and if i place 255 the object is opaque and you can't see behind the object now right click here you will see there are three options this is uh, the details of the shading of the material in the object so if i change it to black you will see the detail is at the limit uh, see here it is less detailed and if i change it to broad it is detailed and if i change it to form it is more detailed when i want to create a 3d shiny object i will always use form and this is the curl mode it's clockwise and counterclockwise ccw will render the front of the visible part of the object and this can help in certain situations and the ccw will render the back side of the object and will not render the front area of that and both will render both front and back side of the object. Now I think uh, this is uh, enough for the video. So please stay tuned and uh, subscribe. Thank you.